Hi everyone. Hello Thanks everyone. So Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, so we are from Edinburgh Napier University and we will be talking to you a little bit about the university today. So let me just go to the slides. Okay, so my name is Emma and I'm part of the international team at the university. Um, I'm Paula, I'm a student ambassador and current software engineering student here at Napier University. Uh, I will be here during the presentation, so do not hesitate uh, to ask me any question. I will be in the chat. And you can also find me like in the Ask a Student section on the uh, university website in the Unibody platform. Perfect. Thank you, Pablo. Okay, so just to remind you, the session today is being recorded, and um, so you can always view it again once we've finished, if there's anything that you missed. Um, also, make sure, as Pablo said, that you ask him any questions in the chat. You can ask your questions in English or Spanish, it really doesn't matter which language. Pablo is more than happy to answer in either language. Um, and we'll also have time at the end of the session to answer any other questions as well. Um, also, after, after the session this morning, you'll be able to book meetings directly with me over the next two weeks. So make sure you have a look at my calendar and book a session if you want to. And as Pablo said, if you want to ask any questions to him as a student, then you can do that through our website, through the Ask a Student function. And he's more than happy to answer those questions as well. Okay, so the presentation today, we're going to talk a little bit about our location. We'll talk a little bit about some of the key facts and figures about the university. We'll obviously talk about our academic schools and some of our key courses. We're going to talk about student support, fees and scholarships. And then, as I said, there'll be time for any questions and answers just at the end as well. But again, obviously make sure you use the chat as well. Okay, so let's get started. So, perfectly located for your studies, Scotland. We really do think that we are perfectly located for your studies. Anyone who might have visited Scotland um, hopefully would agree that it is a beautiful country with a mix of vibrant cities, historic monuments, and beautiful landscapes, kind of as you can see in this picture. You might know some of the things that Scotland is famous for. So we have haggis, whiskey, kilts, but it has a lot more to offer as well. So Scotland is a very small country, but it's also part of the UK. And even though it has a small population, it has a very distinct culture. Um, it's also produced some, some really important inventions. So things like Harry Potter, which lots of people are obviously familiar with, the MRI scanner, and also Grand Theft Auto. So we've got a really big mix of inventions that have come from Scotland. Okay, Edinburgh. So we are based in Edinburgh, the beautiful capital city of Scotland. So it's a very well connected capital city, not only to the rest of the UK and also to Europe, but as well to the rest of the world. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So we have a Gothic old city, a Georgian new town, and then also lots of modern architecture as well. It's also a very green city with its own mountain, right in the middle of the city, which you can see in this picture here. And it's also on the coast with a beautiful sandy beach. So it really does have everything that you might want. Okay, so these are just some of the awards, the awards that Edinburgh has won over recent years. It highlights that Edinburgh is a great centre for startup businesses and innovation, something that we are really passionate about at Edinburgh Napier University. It's home to established companies such as Skyscanner and also lots of different startups, including Free Agent and Rockstar North. OK, so as I mentioned, Edinburgh is a really small city with a population of only about 500,000. And of that, about 60,000 are students across the four universities in and around the city. So it's a really student friendly city, which Pablo hopefully <laughs> would agree to. 
Um, you have the opportunity to really engage with and become involved in the local community if you come and study in Edinburgh. It's also a festival city, which is really exciting. So it's home to the largest arts festival in the world. This takes place in the summer, but there's also lots of other festivals that take place throughout the rest of the year as well. So you've got a lovely picture of the Edinburgh skyline as well. So it really is a beautiful city. Okay, so a little bit of history about us. We were founded in 1964 as Napier Technical College, and we then became a university in 1992. So we are a modern university. Our namesake, John Napier, invented logarithms. So this is particularly relevant for our School of Computing and our School of Engineering and the built environment. Okay. I just have a little video that we'll play for you now. Edinburgh Napier University is home to academics with their finger on the pulse of industry trends. Here our students gain the perfect balance of academic knowledge and professional skills to make their ambitions a reality. We forge strong relationships with the private, public and voluntary sectors, working together to find innovative solutions to society's challenges. We're a university with an international focus. Our students study and travel abroad, building lifelong networks around the world. In Hong Kong alone, there are more than 9,000 Edinburgh Napier University graduates. Our university is a vibrant hub of creativity and innovation that fuels research activity to change lives for the better here at home and across the world. Our students benefit from inspiring and responsive teaching focused on helping them fulfill their greatest potential. We guarantee they'll gain memorable experiences that will stay with them forever as they join an ever-growing network of international alumni inspiring the world around us. You're muted then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was just a little video just to give you a taste of the university. Thanks, Pablo. Okay, moving on. So we were awarded four stars overall in the QS stars, but we received five stars for teaching, employability and internationalization, which are areas that are really important to us. Um, this year, we were also named the number one modern university in Scotland, which was really exciting. And it's, again, something that we're really, really proud of, as we really want to make sure that studying with us is a rewarding experience for all of our students. The other thing that we're really proud of at the moment is that we were voted number one in Edinburgh for student satisfaction. And that was in the National Student Survey. So that's where our students got to um, speak all about us. This highlights the focus that we have on our students um, and that we want to ensure that every student, again, has a great experience with us and that we add as much value as possible to their time that they're with us. OK, so we are a modern, innovative and inclusive university that focuses on academic theory alongside employability and entrepreneurship. Helping people get the careers that they love is what we do. And we focus on career readiness, practical experience, client projects and industry expertise. So, as I mentioned, employability and entrepreneurship are two areas that are really important to us. In terms of employability, we have a dedicated student futures team who focus on professional development and preparing our students for the world of work. This includes skills workshops, one-to-one -one sessions, networking events with employers and much more. 
We also have the bright red triangle, which is our enterprise and innovation hub. So far, the Bright Red Triangle has supported 428 startups and there's 180 businesses that are trading. So that's really exciting. And this is an opportunity for all students to get involved in. Students also have the option to work on live consultancy projects with business. So again, it's just giving students the opportunity to really engage with the innovation and entrepreneurship that's happening in Edinburgh. Some important numbers. So we have nearly 20,000 students studying with us from more than 140 countries. And this is on all of our programmes, both in Edinburgh and also internationally and online. In Edinburgh, on campus with us, we have about 14,500 students. And again, this is from more than 100 countries. So we really are an international university. Across the beautiful city of Edinburgh, we have three unique campuses. And we also have six academic schools which are spread across the campus. Edinburgh Napier Universities. There we go. Okay, so this is a little map of Edinburgh. So we're based in the sort of south southwest of the city, and here you can see our three different campuses. Each of our campuses has specific facilities dedicated to the courses that are taught on that campus. Students with us have access to all three campuses and all of the different facilities that they offer. Um, but you would just have one campus, which is your home campus, depending on which courses you would be studying with us. Um, Emma, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. I, I don't know why uh, it crashed like the platform. Oh, can you hear, can me, you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Oh, I Hello? Hello? Is that working? Pablo? Now I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh. Yes, I can hear you as well. <laughs> okay. Where did it crash? And I'll just go back to that bit. Well, I cannot hear you right now. <laughs> oh, no. Can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, I'm going to have my camera off. Oh, Edinburgh Napier University is no home problem. to academics um, with their finger on the pulse of industry trends. Uh, I've lost the camera, I think, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think okay. I've lost it too. Okay, um, I'll cover this bit again in case we missed that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have three campuses across the city of Edinburgh and we are based in the kind of south southwest of the city. Each of our campuses has dedicated specialist facilities for the courses that are based on that campus. Um, all of our students would have access to all of the facilities that our campuses have to offer. Um, and as a student with us, you would have a home campus, but as I said, you can move across all of the three campuses. Because Edinburgh is a really small city, it's really easy to travel um, around the city between all of our campuses and to our accommodation as well. Okay, so just before we move on to talk about our um, academic schools and our different programmes, we will just briefly cover the Scottish degree structure. So undergraduate programmes in Scotland are typically four years in duration. We think this is a really positive thing because it allows for a lot of breadth as well as depth of study. So in the first two years of your programme, your studies will be quite broad and quite open and you'll then start to specialise in your programme from year three. The other great thing about having a four year program is that it means that many students have the opportunity to both study abroad and complete a work placement as part of their course. OK. So we are really closely connected to industry. All of our programmes are designed with industry in mind. As I've already said, the majority of our students learn practically by doing internships. You have the opportunity to shadow um, to shadow within businesses and companies and also work on live projects. Ooh. 
Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Sorry for the little technical problem. So I will talk just uh, about my experience. So as I've said before, I'm Pavel. I'm currently studying here at Nepal University. So I just want to talk about some points. I can tell you guys my experience and what to expect when you come here. And to be honest, I only have good words for everyone at the university. From my experience, I can just say that this university is so welcoming. Emma was mentioning before that the number of nationalities is studying at Napier. And I think that's really impressive just how diverse and open this environment is. And this is especially cool if you're an international student because you can interact with people from different backgrounds and get to know the culture of many of them. And I think that's really cool. Not to mention that you will encounter a passionate and caring staff. I think Emma. Okay. Emma. Yeah. Okay. So these are the six different schools that we have. So we have a business school, the School of Applied Sciences, the School of Arts and Creative Industries, the School of Computing, School of Engineering and the Built Environment. Can you hear and me? yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Now now I can hear you. Okay, great. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and a school of health and social care as well. Okay, so our business school is one of the largest business schools in Scotland. It's a modern, global and dynamic business school, home to students, staff and researchers inspired by the world around them to provide creative, sustainable solutions to economic challenges and the needs of society. It's also home to the Bright Red Triangle, so our innovation and enterprise hub that I mentioned earlier. So these are the different subject areas that our school of business, our business school caters for. So we have accounting and finance, business and management, marketing, tourism, hospitality, festival and events management courses as well. So an example of some of the different courses that we have, we have a range of different specialisms within the kind of business management area. So you could decide just to focus on business management or you could um, opt to specialize in entrepreneurship or human resource management or marketing. We have a range of marketing specific courses such as marketing management or marketing with digital media. The marketing with digital media course is a new program which has been designed um, with industry demands in mind. And then within our suite of um, festival and events management courses, programs such as international festival and event management, international hospitality management and international tourism and airline management. Obviously, Edinburgh is a great city to study um, this range of, of courses in as a, an international tourism destination. And obviously, because of all of the festivals um, that occur in the city, which we mentioned earlier. Okay, so our School of Applied Sciences has a really applied approach to science and social sciences. And this um, means that the school is making a positive impact both nationally and internationally within this area. We're tackling and working on global and local issues affecting health, society and the environment through applied study, industry partnerships and research. Our applied courses mean that we are renowned for meeting the needs of employers and society as well. OK, so again, the subject areas that are covered within this school, we have the biological sciences, we have criminology, psychology and social sociology, so the social sciences, sport and exercise sciences and also teaching. 
Some example of some of the courses within the biological sciences, they range from animal and conservation biology through to applied microbiology or biological sciences. Within the more social sciences area, we have a criminology programme as well as a policing and criminology programme. We also cover psychology and social sciences. And within the sports, we have sports and exercise science, physical activity and health. And we also have a new football coaching programme as well. So again, we've got a diverse range of programs that are available for you. Okay, the School of Arts and Creative Industries. So in the School of Arts and Creative Industries, our mission is to unlock innovation and growth, nurture talent and opportunities for collaboration, and enable graduates and staff to develop sustainable careers in tomorrow's creative and connected communities. Our modern facilities and strong links with industry combine to produce industry-ready, award-winning graduates. Within this school, again, we have a wide range of different courses. So we've got our design, photography and advertising programmes, English, creative writing and publishing, film, journalism and media, as well as music. So within the design and photography space, we have a range of programmes, including interior and spatial design and photography. We have English and acting in English, film, journalism, mass communications, and obviously the music programme as well. This is just an example of some of the programmes that we have, and we've got a wide variety related to these areas as well. The School of Engineering and the Built Environment. So this school offers courses that equip students with sought after industry relevant skills and training for the best possible career upon graduating. Our courses are accredited and are designed to meet the needs of employers while being flexible to allow the widest range of career opportunities. So as you can probably guess from the name of the school, this school covers building and surveying areas as well as engineering. So within building and surveying, we have programs such as architectural technology, building surveying and quantity surveying. And within the engineering stream, we have civil engineering, mechanical engineering, energy and environmental engineering. Again, just an example of some of the range of courses within this school. OK, the next school is our School of Computing, and this is the school that Pablo is part of. So School of Computing um, enables students to specialise in an area that will prepare them for a successful career in their chosen field through accredited programmes, again, which are taught by industry experts in labs that feature cutting edge kit. We want to develop work ready graduates, so our work placements and study abroad options within this school are really important, as well as our practical and industry focused way of teaching. So the different subject areas that we have within this school are cyber security and digital forensics, software engineering, computing science, games development and digital media. Again, an example of some of the courses, we have computing and computing science, software engineering, cyber security and forensics, user experience and digital media and interaction design. I don't know if you can hear me well now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's, that's perfect then. <laughs> Thank you, Emma, again. So I just will talk a, a little bit about my degree. I have to say that it is quite wide and we learn a lot of things. We do learn about programming, AI, and some hardware, but it's mostly about programming. And I can just assure you that if you like computing and technology, you will love the course. Um, as I've said before, everything is really practical and we get to do a lot of projects, which I think is really cool. Last semester, for example, I did um, a Monopoly game. I think it was really challenging, but it was, it was also like really rewarding and so cool to do. Um, something else that I really like is the independence that you have. This, this is university, so no one's really going to force you to do the things that you have to, to do. They're not really going to give you all the answers, but at the same time, they explain really well uh, and they give you lots of support. So I think it's the perfect balance because being honest, if you have that independence, you can come up with really cool solutions to the problems or really cool and creative projects. And I think that 
it is really valued and that's really cool. So for example, I also have designed like an app for a museum recently and I had total freedom to decide how I wanted my app to be. And I think that's, that's amazing. Perfect, thanks Pablo. Okay, and the final school that we have is our School of Health and Social Care. It's one of the largest schools of health and social care in Scotland, which is really exciting. Um, the majority of our courses within this school are nursing and midwifery. We also have some health and social care programmes as well as allied health. Okay, so that's our six academic schools and an example of some of the programmes that we have on offer within them. Okay, moving on. So student accommodation is obviously something that's really important if you are moving away from home to study. So we have three self-catered accommodation sites across the city. They're all really well connected both to the city centre and to our um, campuses as well. The rent starts from £98 per week and you would be you would have your private bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and then you would share a kitchen and living area with your flatmates. Flats are usually made up of between five to eight bedrooms. The accommodation team also provides a private accommodation support service. So this is to help students who don't want to stay in our accommodation but want help with looking for accommodation across the city. So again, that's a really important service that the university offers. Um, yeah, so I will just talk a little bit also about this thing support because I think that's, I mean, it was really good for me. It was amazing. It was like a surprise for me because I didn't expect that amount of support. And I think that's great. So uh, here at Napier, we have ENSA, which is the one of the best student associations in, in Scotland. We also have like a dedicated international support team. And now that, for example, I get to know a little bit about Emma and about all the international team, they are really supportive. They are really welcoming. They really help you in everything. So I think that's just, just as great. And uh, we also have like a personal development tutor, which, which I didn't never heard of. And that was, um, so for me, uh, I have my PDT, which is the personal development tutor, is also my, my math professor, <laughs> my math lecturer. And it helped me a lot because he's also so pending on me. He always, he's so caring. Um, he always uh, replies me to all my questions, which I really have a lot. <laughs> so I think it's um, it's crazy, like the amount of, of support and, and you will you will really feel great coming here. And also student, uh, student features uh, to help you to prepare to successful careers. So you will have, just have platforms like my, my future, which, which uh, is for work placement and all this stuff. And also you have like part-time work for um, and vaccines late vacancies list, which I think it's also really useful. Perfect, thanks Pablo. Okay, so ENSA is the Edinburgh Napier Students Association. So they look after all of our sports teams and societies. So as you can see, we have more than 20 sports teams um, and more than 30 different societies. So societies range from things like the Coffee Society to the International Society. There was a Harry Potter Society. So it covers all different areas of interests and hobbies. Um, ENSA is also the, they represent all of the students. So they um, represent the students within the university. They also offer an independent advice service. So they're really there to look after and support our students as well. Okay, so in terms of entry requirements, these are our standard entry requirements. Um, some programmes might have slightly higher requirements, so it's always worth checking the course homepages on our websites. And under entry requirements, you can see if there's anything additional that you would require. And then in terms of English language requirements, again, these are just our standard English language requirements. Some courses will have slightly higher requirements, but again, this would be listed on the course homepages. And if you're not sure, we'd be more than happy to talk through this with you as well. Um, in terms of English language requirements, if you studied English as part of your bachillerato um, at high school, then we would accept grade eight and then you wouldn't be required to complete an English language test. Otherwise, the most common test would be the IELTS. And you must have taken this test within two years of starting your programme with us. OK, 
Okay, so a really important question, obviously, at the moment is related to tuition fees. So our undergraduate fee range um, for academic year 2021-22 is between £13,770 up to £15,960 per year. And the specific fees, again, for each course will be listed on the course homepage under fees and funding. Obviously due to Brexit, the tuition fees have increased a lot um, for EU students. So we are now offering an EU scholarship for undergraduate students of 3000 pounds. If you have any questions about this, I'd be more than happy to speak to you um, or there's lots of information on our website as well. So do just get in touch. OK, and the final thing that's quite important just to mention is, again, obviously, as a result of Brexit, EU students will now be required to apply for a visa before they can study in the UK, unless they have settled or pre-settled status as part of the Brexit transition. Um, so if you're studying in the UK for more than six months, you'll need a student route visa. And in order to apply for this, you would need your offer letter from the university, a CAS, which is your confirmation of acceptance of studies, and you also have to have paid your deposit to us before we would issue this. We have, as Pablo mentioned, we have a dedicated international support team and they assist students with all areas of immigration and visas. So they would be more than happy to answer any questions as well. OK, so that's everything. Um, here you've got my contact details. So do just get in touch if you have any questions at all. Um, and as I mentioned at the beginning, obviously, please feel free to book a one to one meeting with me over the next two weeks. And as we also said, Pablo would be more than happy to answer any questions via our Ask a Student function as well on our website. So we can't wait to meet you and we really look forward to hearing from you. Um, OK, I don't know if there's anything else you want to add, Pablo. I would just say that if you're an international student, just don't be don't be scared of coming. It's really rewarding uh, studying abroad. I can really tell you that. <laughs> Perfect. OK, well, that's great. Well, because we don't have any questions in the chat, we will leave it there. But it was lovely to be able to present Edinburgh at Napier University to you. Um, and we really look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye.